I thought I'd recorded that entire video and I hadn't. I had been just been talking to myself. Okay. okay. Where are they Wednesday this week? Um, it's a local case again for me. Um, it happened. Um, the not long after I moved over here actually, around about the same time I moved over, um, and it is the case case of Russell Brawling. Um, it's a very intriguing case. Um, very interesting case. <sighs> Um, there's a lot of bits and pieces to it so right let's let's get on with this shall we um, right he on the 2nd of March 2010 the 18 year old left the family house main family house in West Ely to attend Bishop Burton College in Beverly where he was studying bricklaying it is not known if he actually got to college or not um, which is a bit weird because there would have been records, but I don't know. It's not been released whether it was known. Um, and um, his Renault car, his Renault Clio car was found 45 miles away at Brempton Cliffs um, on the East Yorkshire coast, um, which is over near Scarborough and Whitby. Um, his car was spotted by an RSPB worker at 5 p.m. It was still there the next morning, the next day. The ticket in the car um, was bought at 10.30 on the 2nd of March uh, and was left there. Um, initial searches are questioned for the validity and the accuracy because they were searching for a living person. Um, so they were using he says to cameras, which is a good idea. However, they weren't thinking that it was a possibility that he was no longer with us. Um, so it's one of those things that it's one of those things that the case is a bit weird and it's a bit skewed and a bit off. Um, that the um, searches were faulty and questioned by the family. Um, um, there was a second search that happened two years later in December of 2012 when the family were during which the family were present at the briefing and stayed for there for the full three hours the search took place and the search was done in both cases by the Humberside Fire and Rescue Services. The bunker had been sealed due to illegal use however it wasn't sealed directly after the disappearance. It was sealed some time after that so there was a period between the disappearance and the sealing that it was still accessible uh, because people were going in and stuff and things like that um, so it is question whether or not it was pointless whether it was worth doing the second search um, the Benton Cliffs is also known as a suicide spot um, in, and um, the Coast Guard did help with both, uh, both searches especially the first search and there's they um, did a search from both the air and the sea and checked the bottom of the cliffs and the water surrounding the cliffs and they found nothing. Um, now, to me, this doesn't surprise me. The issue being that um, the like, human body, initially, when, when you're dead, it sinks um, and it only comes up during bloating. The only exception is when it has a life jacket, which is what happened with the Titanic's dead because they had life jackets on. They stayed on the top of the water. So um, the family had initial or had issues over the initial search. Um, this was um, because they were searching for a live person, not a dead person. And they should have really searched for both. They should have got a cadaver dog. But again, hindsight is twenty twenty. The case was thrown out because the family did actually try to the police. The case was th thrown out because the court said it's not the court's job to decide whether or not the case and the investigation have been handled well, which to me is still an issue. Um, it happens a lot in America where if a case isn't handled right, then the family sue, which I can understand, and I can understand people in this country doing it. However, it doesn't make much sense for people in this country to do it because they won't gain anything. But, again, that's just my view on this. Um, 
these are the theories. Uh, police wanted to, deter to determine what Bolling's uh, movements were the three days before his disappearance. Um, this is because he left home and come home um, hours later, not said anything, not told anybody what he was doing before. It was discovered that he had visited um, York, Bradford and Bridlington. Um, York is where I live. Um, Bradford is what I call the York side of Manchester. And then there's Bridlington, which I think is in the middle. Um, there's no indication of what he did there and why he was there. Um, Bowling also logged on to the RAF, which is the Royal Air Force, Bempton website at 7.30 in that mo the morning he disappeared uh, to look at the Ravenscar. Now, the family had a house in, holiday home in Ravenscar, which becomes important in a short while. Um, father revealed that his son was interested in the erotic and satanic artwork that had been left in the bunk on the bunker's walls by a cult that had inhabited the bunk bunk bunker in 1970. Here I will put a picture of the bunker. Um, he, I'm not even going to search for the artwork, uh, and if I put it in this video, it'll get the video flag straight off. So I'm not even going to try. Um, it's just not worth it. Information about these particular the, the photos and the bunker itself and the cult, I think, were on a uh, USB stick. People remember the USB stick that you remember seeing him, seeing him with it. It's not one that was familiar with his computer or with the ones that college get, um, gave out, but people know that he had it. This has never been found in all the searches, the searches of the main house and of the holiday home, all the, the belongings, even the car, nothing. There's no trace of it anyway. Um, the family do believe a third party was involved. They believe that there was somebody in the car with him when he travelled from home to the holiday home. Um, to the, well, to the, well, there's, there's a chance that he's gone to the holiday home and then to the bunker. Um, because the distance between the two for the car that he had he would have had and the level of petrol that he had the morning he went missing he would have needed to have filled up to get to go through those 45 miles um well 45 miles is half the distance between us and my mum um my mum's on the other side of the pennines so and it that'd probably take a good near enough an hour um or thereabouts um like 45 minutes half an hour um, an hour 45 minutes to an hour to go and um, the reason why the family believe this is because they actually when they got the car back they actually made um leveled up the petrol to the love the amount of petrol they knew he had that morning um because i think one of them used the car the night before or there was some reason why they knew how much petrol he had and um, they then drove from the main home to the bunker, not even to the holiday home, but just to the bunker. And they had to fill up uh, during the thing. Now, um, the reason for the speculation for the fact that somebody was there is he didn't have hardly any money on him. And the short amount, of, small amount of money that he did have on him were, was, found, um, was, was found in his possessions and he, neither his credit nor debit card were used so there was no money touched at all of his um so family think that somebody else was in the car with him now the family also think that the um that a three hundred thousand dollar uh, three hundred thousand pound not dollar um uh payment that um russell's father had given him um was a possible motive um the father had given him the money to start his business um, to do with the qualifications he was getting at college because he was nearly finished as March is he usually finished college like um, the end of um, June, beginning of July because I'll just remind people here in the UK college is between secondary school and university it's like a stopping stone and there are some colleges that do do degrees but n namely they're like a in between um, so um, I did science it, in the college I did, I did science, uh, which obviously then I went to university and did even more science. But in his case, he was studying brick, brick line, which is also quite common in colleges. Um, 
they think that this may have been uh, that the money was part of it part of it um it was also feared that because um, Russell has what the family call a speech and language disorder um that they feared that he was taken advantage of because he's the type of his disorderly would mean he would say yes to things even when he didn't want to do them and um, it left him vulnerable to people taking advantage um, the police think that Pauline committed himself because com killed himself because of a tape that they found that had he had recorded himself imitating um, suicide now the family disagree with this with extreme conviction uh, because he had recorded that when he was 15 so three years before he went missing and it was during his GCSEs which is a very stressful time I remember my GCSEs I don't think I think I had no nails at the time um, the case was featured in uh, as, as an appeal on the BBC program Crime Watch which was also um, which also featured a case on Claudia Lawrence, which is one of my first Where Are There's. Um, now, possessions of Russell's were found in, in, um, in a rucksack that I think was in the car. Um, and in the rucksack that was found in the mayor, it was found during one of the searches. It doesn't state exactly where, which is a bit weird, but they found the rucksack. And the family checked out and they noticed his brown steel toe cap boots were missing. Um, human feet were found on the banks of the... A human, a human foot was found on the banks of the Humber Estuary in August of... Uh, sorry, in September 2010. It's because there was two feet found, but one was found in a trainer. Um, but they weren't the same feet. It was both from the same body. Um, the second... The, the one that was found in September was actually encased in a brown steel toe cap boot. However, investigations confirmed that this was nothing to do with Russell, um, I'm guessing through DNA. Um, investigation um, Police also view that he may have been met with an accident. Um, his family view he was either abducted or murdered. Um, the reason for this being that he um he very much um a lot of the things are the type of things he wouldn't have done on his own um now i fear i do actually agree with the family i do fear that he did meet a violent end um that somebody had gone with him to the summer home um that the boys had in raven sky um where the trainers he were last seen wearing were found and I'm thinking that's where the bag was found, I'm not sure. Uh, he, um, he'd he gone there, uh, possibly changed from the um, trainers to his work boots and then driven to the bunker. Um, but like I said, we'll never know. Um, we will never know. Um, hopefully we will. <laughs> she says hopefully we will because the pain that the family must be in i could not even comprehend uh, i dread to think what the family went through um pain and the oh god no just the sheer thought of it anyway she says right um but the case is a mess and it's not the first time and I don't think it'll be the last time that that's happened um, with some of the cases that were handled in like the 2010s. Um, there have been a lot of cases where there have been questions later on relating to those cases. I might go into a few more of them at some point. Um, but hopefully we will find his remains sometime soon. Because like I say, the family must be going through some pain. Um, I dread I, I'd hate to feel the amount of pain that they do. So, <clears throat> if you know anything, I'll link down below his missing pe persons page so you can go and check it out. Um, I'll also link where I got this information from, which I am actually going to start doing. Um, so, cross fingers, we will get there. Um, and hopefully there will be some answers for him at some point. Um, 
But with that being said, stay safe, have fun, be good, and I will see you tomorrow for a very interesting Truth Talking Thursday.